In this video, we'll write the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus H2SO3. We use the half reaction method. We're going to assume this is an acetic medium. And so to do this, we're going to follow five basic steps. Step number one is to write the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in our equation. When you do that, these are the oxidation numbers you end up with. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description, a video for finding oxidation numbers. You need to get these right or nothing else works after this first step. For the second step, we need to write the half reactions for the elements that changed. So if we're looking at this here, Mn went from plus 7 to plus 2. So that changed. And then the sulfur went from plus 4 to plus 6. So that's what we're interested in. So let's write the half reactions for each one of those species. When you do that, this is what you end up with. So we're really interested in the S and the Mn, the sulfur and the manganese. So for step three, what we're going to do now is we're going to balance these half reactions. And there's kind of some sub-steps we're going to follow. First, we're going to balance the atoms, then the oxygens, then the hydrogens, and finally the electrons. So let's first balance the atoms. We're only interested in the sulfur. Those are balanced. And the manganese right now, that's balanced. So the atoms are balanced. Now we can balance the oxygens. To do that, we add water. So we see we have four oxygens here and three here. We're just going to add H2O, one molecule of water. Now we have three, four oxygens. Okay. The hydrogens aren't balanced, though. We have two plus two is four, only one here. So now we add hydrogens. We're balancing the hydrogens. Just add three hydrogen ions. So the hydrogens are balanced. Finally, we're going to balance the charge. You can look at the oxidation numbers up here and do that. Probably the easiest way, though, is to look and see if this is all neutral, adds up to zero. Here, we have 3 plus and 1 minus. So we have an overall 2 plus charge. I'm going to add two negative charges, two electrons, and that'll balance that out. So this is balanced. You could also see the sulfur here. It goes from plus 4 to plus 6. So it lost two electrons. It was oxidized. Let's do the same thing for this down here with the manganese. We said the manganese, that's balanced. Now we can balance the oxygens. Let's add four waters over here. So now the oxygens are balanced, but we have eight hydrogens. So we add eight hydrogen ions. That's done. I can see I have this eight plus and one minus. So overall, I have a seven plus charge here. Over on this side, I have two plus. So I need to add five negative charges here so that the seven plus is equal to the two plus. The charge is balanced. Again, if you look at the manganese, seven plus seven goes to plus two, so we need those five electrons. So the half reactions are balanced. That's the third step. But we still have a bit of a problem. These half reactions are balanced within themselves, but overall, the electrons, they're different, so on each side. What we need to do is get that to be equal. And really, the only way we can do that, if we multiply everything here by five, that would give us 10 electrons. Over here, if we multiply everything by two, 2 times 5 electrons, that gives us 10 electrons. So then that would balance the electrons on both sides. Once we've done that, now we can write the big equation, all this stuff together. We have over here our reactants, and over here our products. That'll look like this. So this is the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 plus H2SO3. We do need to cross some things out, though, because they're the same on both sides. For example, Right here I have five waters, but I have eight over here. So I can get rid of these, and this will become three waters. I see 10 electrons, 10 electrons. 16 hydrogen ions, and then 15. I'll get rid of these, so now I only have one hydrogen ion here. So this ends up being the balanced redox reaction with everything crossed out, so we've reduced it down further. So we can finally check our work by looking at charge and number of atoms. For example, five sulfur atoms here in the reactants, five sulfur atoms here in the products. Two manganese atoms, two manganese atoms. So the atoms are balanced. You could check the hydrogen and the oxygen. They would be balanced as well. And then charge. Two negative charges and one positive. So overall, we have a negative one charge here. On this side, we have five times the one minus. So we have five minus, and then we have two times the two plus, four plus. So we have the minus one on this side as well. So charge works out, minus one on both sides. Same number of atoms, we're done. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus H2SO3 
in acetic medium using the half reaction method. Thanks for watching.